Hello everybody, welcome back to another Sessions with Steph. Good morning, I'm gonna have my first little sip of coffee. I'm so glad that you guys are tuning in and checking stuff out, I really appreciate it. Um, I am putting together this little montage that I did a long time ago, like my baby was still a baby, I think. Like she's so much bigger now. Um, and it's just going over self-care. So I'm going to call Wednesdays Wellness Wednesday. Self-care is a big way for me to achieve wellness and feel better. And so it's just something I'm putting out there. Um, ideas for people, things that I think you should pay attention to, look at, think about, all of that stuff. But I'm really excited for this content and for you guys to be able to give me some feedback on it, things that you do want to see. I originally wanted to wait to post this until I had actually gone for my massage and gotten a facial and done those things. However, um, it just has not come to fruition because I'm a mom and a business owner and I run around like crazy and I have a new baby and that's okay. I will get where I need to be, I promise you. I no longer put myself on that back burner that I used to because if I'm not level, everything is chaotic. So one of my biggest wellness tips is make sure you take care of you before you try to take care of anyone else. You cannot pour from an empty cup. So I put this together. Um, I do believe it's what I do at home is what I'm going to end with. I apologize for some of that video. I was doing at home facials and I was already really relaxed. I had soaked, I was chilling out. Um, I think I had even posted about my soak on Instagram. So when I took the video, I was trying to make sure I didn't let it go lower than it needed to, but I, you know, I was in my jammies and, and it happened. So I, I'm very transparent, very raw, very real. So you'll, you'll see what you see. It's not inappropriate in any way, but just letting you know ahead of time. And then in the other one, I go to see my esthetician. She's amazing. I love her. She does my lashes. Um, the reason I haven't gotten a facial from her is simply because I have a membership somewhere where I can get facials and massages and I wanted to try that out before I was like, hey, well, let me do you. And now I am actually excited because I've met quite a few people do, that do so many different things. And even though I'm very loyal and I like to see one person, at the same time, I like to support small businesses especially. So I don't see a problem with saying, hey, I'm gonna come see you, but I'm gonna come see her, but I'm gonna come see him, but I'm gonna... So as long as they all know, to me, I'm not cheating, right? And when it comes to hair, I think that there are times where you can do the same thing. See somebody for color because you love the way they do your color, but you have somebody who cuts your hair exactly how you like it. And so if they're in the same vicinity, that's great. If not, I would say just make sure they have a discussion so that the vision is really all put together. But that's my personal opinion. So in this video, I'm just gonna do, that's what I'm going over. My esthetician does talk. She talks about products and things like that. And, um, and I kind of give little tidbits in between. I'm putting it all together and I'm calling it, like I said, Wellness Wednesdays. I know last week I posted a Mama Monday and a Tuesday Talks, and this week I posted my Tuesday Talk and I'm going to post a Wellness Wednesday. I have found that doing content for every day of the week is going to be near impossible for me, sadly. I would love to post every week, but I think what I'm gonna do is rotate things out because yes, moms, we all need tidbits on how to do things, but I think as well, we need ideas for wellness, right? Different things that we can do, different things we can talk about, different things we can discuss. I have other ideas that I'm putting together. I will get back into explaining hair a bit more so people understand it and doing tutorials. I've been um, asked by some of my guests to do tutorials and I don't go slow in my tutorials. So they will be longer videos because I'm very thorough and I want you to understand. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch um, these videos that are coming up. I keep saying um and I know I shouldn't. I wanted to say it right there. So I'm gonna let you watch these videos that are coming up. I will have an end video and in the end video, my face will be done, my hair will probably be done, I will be put together and you will be able to see my finished look. I do Tuesday talks and you guys see either my eyes get done or my whole face get done or my face get done because my eyes are already done. So I'm not gonna do makeup for you today. Um, I may do it on Friday, who knows? I may do it on Thursday, who knows, who knows? But um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Sorry, I keep doing the um thing. I will get better. I will get better. I hope that y'all enjoy this and I will see you soon. Hi everybody. Welcome back to a different version of Sessions with Steph. Um, I am just letting you know that I'm going to do some different things and we're going to take this in a different direction. So today I'm going to, um, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. Today I'm going to talk about more self-care because self-care is extremely important. If you don't know, um, or you didn't find out, I recently had a baby. I had her in September. I got pregnant, um, you know, during Snowvid, I guess is what they call it or Snowmageddon. And so I've been kind of, I wouldn't say not taking care of myself, but when you're pregnant, you definitely do a little bit more self-care. I was bigger on my massages and little things like that. But after pregnancy, it's one of those things where everybody's like, oh, you know, you don't have time for this and you don't have time for that. And how do you make time for this? It's one of those things where I will always say that you make time for things that are important to you. Um, I don't feel like I do too much in life. I feel like I do just enough. I do, you know, work regularly and I am very busy at work, but I also am part of my PTA. I'm on the board. I volunteer at my kid's school. I take time for massages. I'm coming in for lashes today. I do waxing. I, I try to do as much as I can for me to make sure that I feel stable and I feel good because yes, my biggest thing that I think one of the things I'm most proud of in life is that I'm a mom, but just because I'm a mom doesn't mean I'm not Stephanie. I am still a person and I have been my whole life and motherhood doesn't define me. It's just a nice, you know, little star. It's the lining that I have that, that makes me happy. And I really want not just women, but even men to realize there is such a thing as self-care for everybody and you need to find it and embrace it so that you have not just a better feeling about yourself, but also I feel like when you take care of yourself physically, you also are taking care of yourself mentally and emotionally. And that's a subject that gets very touchy and I think we kind of put on a back burner, but these are all things to help. I will not lie, I suffer from postpartum because I suffer from depression regularly. Not something that I always put out there, but I do. And so postpartum comes even harder for me. Um, and that, is part of the reason why, especially with my third child, who was a surprise, um, I am really focused on trying to make sure that I do the self-care that I need. So as you can see, I still have a few lashes here <laughs> um, and really nothing left on this side. I'm going in today to get my lashes done with uh, a good friend of mine. This is her card, Sierra. Um, I don't think you can see that yet, now you can. And she's amazing. If you are in the San Antonio, Bulverde, uh, Stone Oak, any, any area like that, she's so awesome. She's great. She's very meticulous. Um, it's just, I fell behind because I did not pre-book. Pre-booking is important and I didn't do it. So I'm coming in today to do that. I will stop this video. We'll be doing a lot of editing. I'm putting in the next one um, after I am done and then kind of show you guys other things that I like to do for self-care um, at home and things that I like to use and they, um, all sorts of fun stuff today. So this will be my newest installment of Sessions with Steph and we're going to call this self-care and it'll go through a variety of things, not just hair and nails and eyes and all that, but more than just that so that I can kind of give you guys an idea. Maybe you can start playing with things that are important to you and make you want to do more self-care, okay? Um, so excited to be doing these videos again. I This is me raw, guys. I have nothing on my face except moisturizer, but it's because I'm getting my lashes done. So no reason to really do that. And yes, if you're wondering, I did change my contact color. I wanted to go a little bit darker. My eyes matching my hair is fun, but it's also... I'm, I'm kind of miss my brown eyes. So I went with uh, amethyst, which makes them look hazel, which is good. So um, I will be back here in a little bit after I'm done with my lashes. I will see you again in a bit. I wanted to introduce you to 
one of my favorite people, my lash girl. She also does facials, which I have not enjoyed just yet, but I will get there. And all my waxing and everything. And we're just going to talk to her a little bit about self-care and what she thinks is important and the products that she actually uses because I really love these lashes simply because they're not heavy on my eye. Um, and she does something really unique that I'm going to let her talk about. So I'm going to flip this camera. This is Sierra. Hello. Um, she's amazing. So Sierra, she's, she's with baby right now. She was going to get her lashes done too, but she's too little. I told her no. Um, Sierra, talk to me about the lashes that you use. So I use Nova Lash, which mm -hmm. is, um, number one worldwide in lash brand. Um, I make every volume fan handmade. So it is a little bit different than the pre-made. Mm -hmm. They tend to stay better. They're a little bit lighter. They're um, nat more natural for your lashes. Mm -hmm. So they'll have a better bond opposed to lashes that are already pre-made because they have that extra layer of glue. So mine does not. So it tends to just last a little bit better and lighter for the lashes and ingredient wise. Um, Nova Lash does have the safest ingredients for okay. lashes. So, so this would be good for just about anybody, even if you have like, yes, I mean, do have hyperallergenic glue as well for those who are sensitive, but it still stays a lot because most sensitive glues don't have a good bond. Mm -hmm. So this one definitely does. And it's worked very well for all my clients. Awesome. Now, when it comes to waxing too, because you also do my waxing, yes. talk to me about the wax you use and why you love it. So I use Jack's Wax Australia. Mm -hmm. Um, It's paraben free, chemical free, mm -hmm. and titanium free. Um, and it's all natural. It's made with essential oils. So they use oils as their base. So it's a lot softer mm -hmm. and more rich and it doesn't pull as much on the skin. Okay. So okay. I use that one. Which I love that stuff. It's amazing. Um, and is there anything else? I know you do the hydrofacials and so yes. you really love those. Yes, for sure. So that basically just cleanses the pores. It pushes out all the oil, debris, and it exfoliates as well. You can um, combine it with the microderm to remove the dead skin if you'd like. Okay. Um, which makes it twice as better. Or you could get it just as a single service, whatever you prefer. Awesome. So, yeah. So you can see, I'm going to show your setup a little bit, but... This is her room. Super neat. So, I mean, she's just, and she has everything you need. You can see her hydrofacial here. Everything's very sanitized. She's super clean. I like all her little setups here. So I want to show that. And now I'm going to turn you guys back around. Okay, so that's the end of this little bit. I'm going to edit some more and put something else in. I'll see you guys soon. Hey, guys. So I'm kind of put together, not... Um, full on. Today's a lighter day for me. So just some powder, blush, a little bit of highlighter. Um, I do have a tinted moisturizer on my face because that's what I prefer to use. I don't like to use foundations. Um, but you can see my lashes. I'm very happy with a little bit of self-care early this morning. Baby's in the back. We have a few things to do. It's holiday season. So there's some hair to do today. There's some shopping to do today. Um, of course there's brother and sister pickup time. So, but I wanted to kind of end on this note and let you guys know, you know, it's really important to make time for yourself. It really, really is. And as a person, just a person in general, if you are not making time, then don't complain about not having time. That's, I mean, that's the blunt truth of it. You prioritize what's important for you and to you. And if you don't prioritize yourself, trust me, nobody else will. It's like I was telling my uh, friend Sierra, who's while well, she was doing my lashes, if you're not going to do it, um, don't expect others to do it either. But if you do things in expectation of others doing it, you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. I always tell people, you know, I do what I do because I want to, not because I'm asked to or because I feel obligated to. And in doing that, um, I don't expect anything anymore because it just makes life a little bit easier all the way around. But when it comes to myself and my self-care, I now do it because I want to do it. And I expect to get, you know, I look for people who are going to give me the same service I would give to others. And so that's important too. 
you know, build your relationships with the people who do help you um, with these services, your stylists and your nail techs and your estheticians and whoever it is that you see, your massage therapist, you should have a relationship with that person. I know it's great to be able to just go in to some places and whoever I get, I get, but you know, maybe get to know everybody that you do see and stick to one spot. Um, I love love my nail tech sadly I did not get to see her before Thanksgiving so I did have to go into another spot and you know the saddest thing for me was there was no conversation and that really is not easy for me because I'm not good at just sitting as it is and when you're doing your nails you don't have your hands you can't use them so I was sitting there with somebody who really wasn't trying with me either I tried to make some conversation and it didn't work that's why I love my nail tech Teresa is amazing she's so attentive she's always I mean the way she treats my hands and understands that my skin is more delicate because of psoriasis and things like that it makes me happy um, not that my nails aren't done correctly or they didn't do a good job but to me if I'm spending two hours with you then you need to talk to me because I can't you know I'm not able to work or do other things or even I mean I didn't even put my headphones in or anything to be able to watch stuff so build your relationships and you'll also see that helps to build community which is a huge thing for me right now we have lost that community and we need to bring it back. That's part of self-care too. When we say it takes a village, it really does for a lot of different things, not just having kids, but for people to just exist really. Like we should have that connection here and there and, and whatnot. So get out there. It's Christmas. Invest in yourself. Don't forget to give for you. And if people are asking you what you want, tell them. You know, I've told everybody gift cards are fine because one, I'm an adult and, you know, Christmas to me is if for everybody, but I'm an adult. It's very hard to shop for adults because we, I get anything I want anyway. If I want something, I will go buy it. But if I'm going to use, or if I really do want anything, it's going to have to do with self-care. And my family doesn't live up here. So it's not like they can get me gift cards to all the places that I do go. However, they can give me, you know, the visa cards and gift cards for like that are great because you can use that towards your services or, you know, even saying, hey, you know what, I appreciate you and I got this as a gift and I wanted to give it to you because you're amazing and, you know, I didn't know what else to get, but I come see you and I, you know, blah, 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 whatever it is. But, or you can use it to up, upgrade your service, to give a little bit more that way and get another experience and see if you love it enough to say, hey, you know what? Yeah, I can throw in another 25 on my already amazing facial just to get this too. Like, think about those things. But self-care is a huge thing and I just kind of wanted to take you guys with me for something that I do. Um, I do have a membership at Mas Massage Envy, which is where I get my massages now. Um, so I can get one once a month. I'm sure y'all can hear my baby. She's in the back. We're about to go inside. Um, and like I said, I get my nails done with my friend Teresa. She's at the nail code. Um, I might have her card too. Hold on. Let me see. No, I don't have it there. I don't know where it is, but I will get a card. And the next time I go in for that, I will um, probably do a little video on that one too, just to give a shout out to her business. So that's just part of self care that I've started. And then when I get home today, I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I have that I love to use that you can get just about anywhere it seems like. Um, I am big on good product, but every now and then I just grab what I grab. So we'll get back to that here in a little while. Hi guys, okay, so I said I was gonna do like a second video to go with my self-care when I did my lashes, um, and I need to go refill, but I'm gonna do this part. Um, and basically all I'm gonna do at this point is kind of talk to you guys about my self care. You can see I'm in my own restroom. Um, I will not show you my whole restroom as it is a little crazy. I'm gonna start with this Clay Generations mask. Um, it's a purple brightening mask and I like it because I feel like it also helps to pull out um, like things out of my pores like the excess oils and dirts and stuff. And you can see I've taken my makeup off. I do still have discoloration um, from baby being pregnant She's four months now, so it's starting to show more on my forehead. Um, I can see it more when I don't have makeup on. And then around my cheeks a little bit, that melasma's happening. 
um, which is very normal. Right now I'm going through a lot of hormonal changes and I think this is normal for all women, so we shouldn't stress about it. Um, after that, I like to do another skin brightening, but this one's a peel off mask. Um, and I just like that it, I feel like it helps my skin to tighten back up. I do take a collagen and I'll go over my vitamins that I've been taking um, in another little snippet. Um, after that, I will tone with my aloe therapy. This is something I like to use, but before I do that, I will put on my beautifying serum in the Nourish line from Euphora and then use my aloe therapy from Euphora in the aloe therapy line, um, or promise, sorry. Um, and what I did before I started all of this is I soaked. And so I'm gonna turn my camera for a second on my messy counter. And you can see I have these two guys here. Um, the Relax and Relief from Dr. Teal's. And then the Black Elderberry, which I actually, I just got that one. I've never used it. Um, and I really love it. The smell is, it's very, it took me back to my childhood. And so I love to use soaking salts. I do have a garden tub now in my restroom. And so when I get the opportunity, I use it. So those are self-care things. I feel like you can do those at home. You don't have to spend oodles of money. Um, I think I got these at HEB and they were on sale. Um, I know I've seen them too at Walmart. If you're not in Texas and don't have an HEB or if you are in Texas but don't have an HEB, um, they usually have really good deals on them. And now Dr. Teal's also has like the soaps, like um, foaming soaps. So you can do like a full on bubble bath. I prefer salts. It's just what I like. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to make a video of this, guys. I'm going to put on my mask. I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to put it all around my face and play some ASMR while I do it so I can totally relax because ASMR is something that I really like to use when I'm relaxing. It makes my brain tingle. Um, and that's kind of kind of be my thing. I'll probably put some little um, thumbnails in here so y'all can see me with my masks on when I look completely crazy. Um, I do still have my contacts in. Sometimes I do the mask with them. Sometimes I don't. It happens that I'm finishing up this video on a snow day kind of thing here in Texas. Weirdest thing to say, like in the whole world. So I don't have to set an alarm tomorrow really because roads are gonna be pretty frozen. I'll wake up by eight o'clock regardless. It's just, I'm up by seven, but I don't get out of the bed till eight. And then I have to feed baby and stuff. And so there's that. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions or wanna know anything um, about my postnatal or yeah, postnatal, like what I'm going through postpartum with my skin, my hair, things like that. I'll be more than happy to answer questions. I have nothing to hide. Um, I fortunately have a lot of hair. So even though I am in month four of postpartum, I'm not losing excess hair at all. I got a lot more hair with baby and I tend to with my children um, just increase the amount of hair I have. So I did get a good haircut. It is up in my big scrunchie on top of my head so that I can do my masks. Um, and like I said, you can just see my skin is not that great right now. My psoriasis is starting to pop out too. You can see patches. They're not as bad because of what I use, but they're a little aggravated and agitated um, on my scalp. And even I have a little patch on my wrist that's popping up and in my hands again. So um, that's where my, my uh, mist comes in. It really helps so that I don't scratch as much. It, it soothes it a bit more. I have a huge family of psoriasis, as I call it, on my arm right now. It's kind of depressing. It's really sad. But this is life, and this is what happens. So self-care stuff is going to tell you that it doesn't matter what time you take. Just take the time. You can't fill from an empty cup. It's not possible. Um, I need to learn to look at this camera better. And, um, you, you know, let's just be mindful. Let's take care of ourselves. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm putting this video together. I know all of my videos are not coming out as quick as I would like, but I'm trying guys, be patient with me. I really wanna make this a thing. I'm just trying to figure out life as a mom. So hopefully I'll be on better track soon. Um, thank you guys for watching, always appreciated. And stay well, love you. Okay guys, so I said I was gonna do an end video. This was my look for the day. It has been a long one. 
Um, there might be a little bit of echo. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I enjoy making them. So again, if you guys have any questions or want to know anything, I believe I went through everything through all my little pieces. Um, I have a baby who is, she's always hungry lately. So I think we're going through a girl spurt. I am exhausted today. But again, self-care is a big thing and I'm planning mine for this week. I hope you guys are doing the same for yourselves and you're taking care of yourselves and loving yourself because if we don't love ourselves, it's hard for us to let anybody else love us, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as my kids like to say, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> thank you. Mwah. Love you. I'll see y'all again soon.